Hi, Leak Reviewers. Welcome to the video for Monday, January 25th, 2010. After a 5% drop in the market over the last uh, three trading sessions last week, stocks ended modestly high today as investors got some assurance that Fed Chairman Bernanke's reappointment is likely. Investors have been worried that uh, he might be replaced by a new chairman who might be more willing to uh, accelerate plans to increase interest rates, possibly derailing economic recovery. However, if Bernanke remains chairman, interest rates are more likely to remain at currently at current extremely low levels through the first half of the year, a good thing for the market. Uh, over the last few trading sessions, uh, better than expected earnings haven't had much of an upward effect on the market. Uh, it appears that most of the upside has already been built in, and uh, investors are looking for actual sales improvements now, uh, rather than just companies, rather than just being impressed by companies beating estimates. Apple, though, reported sensational uh, results after the closing bells. Uh, its fiscal first quarter, uh, fiscal, excuse me, its uh, fiscal first quarter profits uh, improved some 50 percent year over year. Uh, iPhone sales were a little disappointing, but that was more than compensated for by robust Mac computer sales. Apple stock, Apple shares had recently reached a record high, and uh, it looks like the enthusiasm was justified. Online retail giant Amazon will follow later this week, and uh, very good things are expected as well given the surge in online shopping over the past holiday season and the company's uh, utter dominance of the online retail market. The street is expecting on average uh, a revenue and earnings jump of 34% and 38% respectively compared to last year. Those are very aggressive expectations. The stock has doubled in the last uh, 12 months. So clearly investors are very high on the company as well. Uh, a bad report could be a tough blow for the market given the investor angst over the last few sessions. But even if Amazon fails to meet expectations, uh, it shouldn't miss by much. Whether most of the uh, company's near-term growth has already been priced in, however, is another question. Still, it's hard to imagine a uh, challenger uh, emerging to mount a serious enough challenge to Amazon to make the company even blink. So the stock's uh, hefty price is not surprising. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and uh, join us again soon.